Let's briefly talk about using the switch port mapper with command line operation. This is really more applicable to something to the switch port mapper version that has been installed rather than one that is being used with the USB. So the documentation is here. Start up help, you can press F1 to get there as well. And then go to command line operation and read the overview. It's intended to be used with Windows Task Scheduler primarily, but there may be something else you prefer. This is the commands summaries right here. You can use you can map a single switch or you can map a switch list using commands from the command line. So you have to preset the configurations ahead of time, and we mentioned how to do that in the switch list editor. You can create a configuration for each device ahead of time. So in order to map a single switch you would put this on the command line and this would be the switch you're mapping and these are the two when server router 1 and server router 2. If you don't have any of those you just put the switch IP right there. Again these have to be preset ahead of time so that the program knows what the appropriate SNMP commands are such as the uh, community name or whatever you're using in SNMP version 3 in order to contact it. So that will start up the, the software. It'll look like that in a window and then the results will be presented and it will just um, sit there. Now if you don't want it to sit there there's a command that forces the program to exit after it's complete. So this is a single switch mapping. It starts up using this is the switch we talked about and then we say post exit. But what good is that unless you've already saved the information to an XML file. So you put in the dash XML file uh, command and path and that's documented here. This tells you how to put the results somewhere. You have to put in prefer you put in a full path, otherwise it'll go to your My Documents folder. Mapping a switch list is quite similar. It, you put in the syntax as this, you put in the switch list name, and you have to define the switch list ahead of time, and that consists of a set of predefined switch configurations, and you have to edit the switch list and get it all ready ahead of time, but then you can map the switch list. This summarizes the commands for command line operation. It is intended to be used on a scheduled basis primarily.